The Byzantine liturgy or mass is an act of public worship of God. In it, both people and priest are united in a very close cooperation to offer to God the renewed sacrifice of Christ on Calvary for the salvation of the world. This liturgy opens by recalling that the whole world and whatever is in it belongs to God and his kingdom. The priest calls upon God to be present in it as his master and king. The priest unfolds in a litany or a synopty all that is in this kingdom, the material and the human. And then the people ask the mercy of God, the strong and the weak, the high in rank, and the lowly, the most neglected, the spiritual hierarchy, the social hierarchy, the sick, even those who are in prison, all members of Christ's mystical body are thus put at the feet of God for his salvation and his mercy. This litany, as every litany in prayer and the Byzantine rite, is concluded by recalling the universal mediation of the Blessed Mother of God, through whom Christ chose to come to us and through whom we consecrate ourselves to him. For this 
city, every city and country, and for all the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For good weather abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray. and the suffering for prisoners and for the salvation of all who pass glory to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, for our danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by thy glory. Remembering the all holy, the immaculate, the most highly blessed, O glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. So God, by thy grace, we marvel the unholy, the immaculate, the most highly blessed, our glorious Lady, the Mother of God, ever the Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves when and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For thine is the mind, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever, and ever. Byzantine rite, Christ is present to us not only in the most intimate presence through sanctifying grace, but in the assembled church as his mystical body and in the gospel as God's word. Now accompanied by his retinue of servants or servers, the priest takes with both hands the gospel book, carries it high, begins a long procession in the church in the middle of the congregation. Then he comes back to the altar. Well done, well done.
after reading of the proper of the day, the whole congregation begins the singing of the hymn of the Trisagion. Let us pray to the Lord. O thou art holy, O our God, and we render glory to thee, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. And O God, who art holy and resteth in the holy, who art celebrated by the seraphim with the hymn of the Trisagion, glorified by the cherubim, and adored by all of heaven, who didst create all things from nothingness, who didst make man to thine own image and likeness, and didst adorn him with all the favors of thy grace, who givest to him who asks for it both wisdom and understanding, and does not despise the sinner but has ordained repentance and unto salvation. O thou who hast granted unto us thy humble and unworthy servant, to stand at this time before the glory of thy holy table, and to offer thee due worship and honor, do thou, O Lord, receive from the mouth of us sinners the hymn of the Trisagio, and look down upon us in thy goodness. Forgive us all our sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Sanctify our souls and bodies. And grant that we may serve thee in holiness all the days of our life. Through the prayer of the Holy Mother of God and of all the saints, we have pleased thee since the beginning of the world. For thou art holy, O our God. And we render glory to thee, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. reads the epistle, after which the priest chants the Holy Gospel. Let us all say without hold by the soul, let us all say, Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray thee, hear the mercy. Mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for our holy patriarch Maximus, our Bishop Fulton Sheen, and the Lord.
ages and all of the brother brethren in Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray thee for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of sins for the service of God, Lord, the brothers of his holy church. and ever my was found of this holy church and for our fathers and brothers the true believers who have died in our sympathy in this neighborhood and for all the faithful throughout the world for again we pray thee for those who bring all things and do good in this holy and most vulnerable church, the workers, the singers, and the people here present who await from the great British mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The prayers are said for the catechumens and the missions of the church. The preparation for the sacrifice of the body and blood of our Lord is a deeply felt sentiment of human unworthiness. The priest, filled with awe at the thought of what he is going to perform, stands hesitant of himself, but confident in Christ, who is, as the liturgy states, the offerer and offered. the receiver and the received, and begs for purification and strength for the sacrifice. In the meantime, the congregation exhort themselves to put aside all earthly cares because they are representing the highest ranks of angels in heaven who serve God the way that they propose to serve him. No one bound by earthly desires or lusts is worthy to come near thee, to approach thee, to serve thee, O King of Glory. For thy service is a great and terrible task, even for the heavenly powers. Yet through thy immeasurable and unspeakable love for men, thou who without change or loss didst become man, and didst take for us the given us the ministry of this liturgical and bloodless sacrifice, being thyself Lord of all things. For thou alone, O Lord our God, dost reign over heaven and earth. Thou alone dost sit upon the throne of the cherubim, and art the Lord of the seraphim and the King of Israel. Thou alone art holy and resteth in the holy. I therefore pray thee, who alone art gracious and ready to hear, look down upon me a sinner, thy unworthy servant. Cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience. Strengthen me by the power of thy Holy Spirit, so that I, whom thou hast endowed with the grace of the priesthood, may stand before thy holy table and consecrate thy sacred and spotless body and precious blood. For to thee I come, and I bow my head, and I beseech thee. Do not turn thy face away from me, 
nor reject me from among thy children, but instead graciously allow that these gifts be offered by me a sinner and thy unworthy servant. For thou thyself dost offer and art offered, dost receive and art received, O Christ our God, and to thee we give praise together with thine eternal Father and thine all-holy, all-good, and life-giving spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the precious gifts he offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the sorry hands and for, for those who are to hear him with faith, reverence, and fear of God. Let Lord. us pray to the Lord. From all affliction, who are danger and necessity, let us cry to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by thy grace. This whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, and a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. For what is good and profitable to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. That the rest of our life may be spent in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. For Christian and to our life, penless, without blame and peaceful, for a good defense at his great tribunal, let us ask of the Lord. Remembering the all holy, the immaculate, 
the most highly blessed, all glorious lady, the mother of God and ever virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our own life to Christ our God. Through the mercy of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, all good, and life-giving Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confine. The Father and the Son and the Holy The doors, the doors, let us attend in wisdom. The Lycian Creed is recited. We begin the canon. Here is a drama of expectancy, leading to the summit of the consecration. Everyone is standing, throbbing with life, awaiting the appearance of an important visitor. With dramatic faith, we are awaiting the arrival of our blessed Savior. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be ready to offer in peace the holy oblation. the unspeakable God, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, eternally the same, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou didst bring us from nothing into being, and didst raise us when we had fallen. And thou didst not cease to do everything to draw us to heaven and to give us thy future kingdom. For all these things we give thanks. 
to thee and to thine only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit. For all mercies that we know and for those we know not, manifest or concealed, we give thee thanks also for this sacrifice which thou dost deign to accept from our hands Though there stand by thee thousands of archangels and myriads of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged and many-eyed, were borne aloft on their wings, are singing, shouting, proclaiming the hymn of victory and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of powers, Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Singing, shouting, proclaiming the hymn of victory and say. All these blessed powers, O Lord and lover of men, we too cry and say, Holy art thou, and all holy, and wonderful is thy glory, who did so love thy world as to send thine only begotten Son, that any one who believes in him may not perish, but have everlasting life. In the night wherein he was delivered, or rather delivered himself, taking bread into his holy, pure, and spotless hands, giving thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying,
As a sweet and mystical perfume, may send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. 
that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for you, Lord, faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, to dare with confidence and without blame to call upon thee, the Holy God, as upon a father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow down your heads to the Lord. To to Through the grace, the mercy, the love for men of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, all good, and life-giving spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Thus be attentive, holy things for the holy. After our blessed Lord has renewed his sacrifice on the altar, and we have died mystically with him, he now communicates to us life of resurrection. He gives to us his own body and blood. And we pray thus before communion. I believe, O Lord, and confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into this world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief. Also I believe that this is thy sacred body, and this is thy precious blood. Make me this day a sharer in thy mystical supper, O Son of God. For I will not reveal thy mysteries to thine enemies, nor betray thee with a kiss, as did Judas. But as the thief, I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. 
O Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under the stained roof of my soul. But as thou hast deigned to rest in the stable, in a manger for beasts, and in the house of Simon the leper, and as thou didst receive the sinful woman whose iniquity was like my own, do thou condescend to enter into the dwelling of my wayward soul and body, defiled, corrupt, and stained with leprosy. And as thou didst not prevent the defiled mouth of the adulteress from kissing thy pure feet, O gracious Lord, my God, the lover of men, do not reject me, sinner, but make me worthy to partake of thy holy body and blood. O our God, through the intercession of thy pure and ever virgin mother, forgive, pardon, and remit my sins and my transgressions against thee, both voluntary and involuntary, committed in word or in deed, for thou art gracious and the lover of men. And grant that I may partake without condemnation of thy pure and precious body. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, sweet feel of God, with faith and with love.